Hi everyone. I just want to thank you for all your responses on this video version of chapter 8 of When Stars Fill Half the Sky. I guess adding pictures and images to the narration really helps to tell this tale. As I told you, chapter 8 would be a real turn in the story. As it goes way back to give some background for Teleria. That's the first world in the novel. With that said, Chapter 9 is coming out very soon, and it follows the story of the collective by moving into the 20th century and then on into the 21st century. By the way, Chapter 9 is strictly PG-13 for depictions of graphic violence, so parents, please beware. The collective is obviously still alive and well, wreaking havoc, still amassing vast riches along with acquiring more power than ever. I also used some names from history in Chapter 9 in order to create some context and realism for Babel and for Gias Daman, our bad guys. So what happens in Chapter 9, you may ask? Well, the Collective finally figures out a way to get Babel back to Earth. And we find out how Gloria and Michael Feiblin are directly involved in this age-old war between these two principalities of darkness. But this is just the beginning for Gloria and Michael because in chapter 10, we're gonna resume their story in their present day, which is actually a few years in our future. So I hope you're enjoying When Stars Fill Half the Sky. I am enjoying so much making these video narrations because for me, I'm finally seeing this story materialize in a way that really brings it to life. As always, please continue liking and sharing this story. And I look forward to talking with you in the comments below. Take care for now. Peace, everybody.